Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. Go to there, that that will shrink that bit down and then... It did genuinely look like it thought... There. Right, do that bit. It's only this bit that I can't do and I suspect it's because of the airport rather than anything else. So I'm just going to leave it like that and we've got a big road that comes out through and... I've got like the... It does come through here. It, it looks a little bit odd where it spreads out a little bit and then joins back in, but that's that's okay. And you can now... The, the traffic is moving so much better now. It, it's kind of spread out a bit and it is flowing around the town very nicely. So I've got these trained personnel. Very good. There we go. Our staff are sufficiently trained. They can get the Iron Bird up into the sky and back down again safely. And the barf bags are ready too. It's time for takeoff. At long last, we can set up the first airline. The construction project for the new airport has been approved, and now we finally have more resources available for better connections to the city. Build the second airport in Hamburg or Stuttgart and operate an airline to generate a profit with airplanes. Set up bus lines and make sure the passengers can travel to the airport from the city. The profit is calculated by subtracting any costs such as purchasing, maintenance and construction of infrastructure from the revenue of the airplanes. Right. Okay, I've now got 25 and I need another airport built. So I've got that one over there. We're going to go Stuttgart first. Like to do this one first. So we're going to need to set up bus lines and stuff like that. So let's go down to just play speed. I'm not going to stop it completely. And first up, we're going to do a bit of street construction. Okay, that may be a little bit excessive. Let's go with this one a second and I'll bring that over to there. Because I want to bring this one like that there. Okay, so I've got that bit going through. And then this one, I want to bring that building will be removed. I'm going to bring this around and join that in there. That one I'm not going to worry about. Those I'm not going to worry about. And the rest of these I'm not going to worry about. And then I want to set up an airport. It's quite important that we get the airport. Uh, we've got a medium airport or a small airport. Now let's have a look at the one that we've already got. We've got a medium airport. So we will make another medium airport just in case. A bit laggy there. Apologise if you're also getting some horrible lag. Um, right, let's... Rotate that round, and then I can put that one there, and I can go in pretty close. 14 million on there. Let's um, bring up the contours a minute. 13 million. 10 million down there. Unable to align terrain, though. Oh, it's got to be able to line up the aircraft being able to launch as well. So I'm going to kind of need to bring my airport out over here. Because look, look at what it's going to have to do over there. That, I don't like that. Right. In which case, I need to bring this one round a little bit. Do I need to put it out like that? It seems like it might be a better option over here. There, three million. That's, that's, what was it before? Going this way, that's looking at 8 million, 7 million. And then as soon as I start bringing it around like this, there's, there's 5 million up there. I'll bring it around here. So really, I mean, bringing it back in there, two buildings will be removed. 4 million, 3, 2.2 .2 million over here, 2.1 Try bringing it onto there. I want to try and get this on as level a spot as we can. Maybe I shouldn't be putting it out. Maybe it needs to be over this side. Let's rotate it round a bit. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, the sighting over there is a million. 
That's rather a long way out from the town, though. That makes it a lot more difficult to, to sight the thing over this side. And there is 800,000. That would be spot on perfect, but that's a long way out from the town. I would rather spend more money and have the airport closer to the town than have to go all the way out over there. So we'll go for 3 million. 2 million. I can get it on two and a half. Two and a half million would be a pretty good price, I guess. I did have a two and a half million price tag come up just now. Swiveling it around that much. It ends up costing more. I can put it there. 3.3. 3. All right, let's, let's drop that into there like that. 3.3 3 million. It's had to remove some bits off the edges over there. Uh, but I'm reasonably happy with that where it is. The only thing I want to do different is move that road. Take that road off of there like that. And then I'm going to go back onto that large street. And I'm going to bring that one down this way. And it's going to go yeah, like that. Yeah, so you can't join it onto there. So I actually want to put it up. I want construction not possible, actually, because uh, what I want to do is I want to go there and I want to upgrade. So that's going to be a four-lane street, as is that one up there. Upgrade all of that one to a four-lane street and then take it off of the upgrade bit and bring that in and drop the four-lane street in there like that so that they can go on round. Okay, so we've got the four-lane street. Now I want to upgrade what I can in the town to four-lane streets now before I go doing anything else. Uh, that is a couple of... That's a lot of buildings to be removed. I'm going to do that one because I do want a, a road that goes right through the center of the town like that. Uh, that one, no. And that one will come back down there. You're all good. So are you. And that one, nope. Nope. Okay, so those right there, construction's not even possible on some of this. But this one going around the outside of the town as a four-lane street. That's a very good thing, actually. Not that one. Uh, that one there going all the way around this way and then joining that up. That's a good thing. And then joining that one up there and then all of this in the middle of the town that's smaller roads in there which we don't want to worry about okay that's looking pretty good I'm, I'm liking this and then that is four lane road as well going out of the town which I'm not going to do anything more to next up we will go to the vehicles we're going to put a depot I'm going to put one of those in nice and quick now I'll drop that one down there you're going to go right there like that. And then I'm going to go back in here and oh, we're going to go... Nope. I'm going to go with one of those. I'm going to do the same again with the whole bus tram station thing. Because I like the idea of this. Current profit minus 3 million. I did just spend 3 million on the station on the airport instead of the much, much smaller quantity that was needed, which was like 800,000. Um... Whether that was a foolish move or not remains to be seen. I'm thinking it wasn't because of the way that I would like to run everything. Right, let's start putting some bus stops around. Put one there. I haven't got anything going into the middle of town yet. I'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, another one there. Then we're going to go back that way, over to there, up to there, and then over that way, and then on round the outskirts of the town, and up to there, over to that one. Back round onto there, and then over to there, and then that's going to bring us back round onto here. Bus and truck stations built, 25 of 25. Right, bus route. 
add another bus route. So we start off here and then we go to that one and then here and then you over to there to that one back to that one around there and then you and then over there and then up to this one and then that station and then this one and then that one and then that one and then that one and then that one takes us back round to the main station over here so we've got 16 stations on this one a little bit more than the last one that's fine by road vehicles uh, my other one I've got six vehicles on that route at the moment I'm gonna this time oh hang on what's this 15 passengers 200,000 per bus this is 130 there's 13 passengers this is 15 65k. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go, let's go for it. Let's, let's upgrade these bad boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to get seven. Just because. Get one more than the other route. So I'm going to put seven of those. And they take more passengers as well. So I'm going to drop that one into there. And I'm going to go set line all line two. And they're now all going to come rushing out onto our new route. Look at these new buses. Don't they look absolutely wonderful? Let's very quickly go line two over here. Vehicles. And I want that colour right there. There we go. There's the new buses coming out. These things look amazing. I'm pretty sure I used to go to school on a bus like that. I had this really old antique bus that I went to school on when I was very, very young. One of the first schools I went to. And it looks a lot like that one. It was known as like one of the oldest buses in the entire district. And um, so it was, it was quite amusing that I had this bus that I was on. Um, and we, we didn't really think anything of it. But it, it did actually, it was known as being one of the oldest buses in the entire area. And so it was quite cool that that was the bus that I went to school on. Um, like I said, at the time, it, it meant nothing to me. It's only afterwards I found out that it was like quite a, a serious antique thing. What are we wanting to do? I got two airports built and I need to start making some money. Target two million profit. Make a profit with airplanes minus three million at the moment because I went and put that um, airport where it is. So this one takes five passengers, lasts for 30 years, 350,000. This one's a million, uh, takes eight passengers. This one here takes 15 passengers, and it costs two million. And the Lockheed Super Constellation Mega Luxury Plane costs four million and takes 23 passengers. So, yes, it's a rather expensive beastie. Um... I'm thinking that we won't go for the 4 million one. We will go with that one right there. So we will buy that one. 2 million dollars. Right there. And I'm going to make a new route. Line manager. Like this. I'm going to go from there. Over to there. Station types don't match. Oops. The Stuttgart Exchange is not the one that I want. It's that one there, the Stuttgart West. So there is my hairy plane routes. And it seems about right. I don't think I need to do anything different to that, do I? Terminal 1. We've only got Terminal 1. That's all I've got. Right. Do that. Then go here, set line all, line 3. And we've got our very first hairy plane coming out onto the... Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Line 3 vehicles. I want to go here and I want to set that as bright green. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Look at that thing. Look at it. Our first aeroplane. And it doesn't actually clip either. It's got the, the bit at the top for the tail. That's that's actually very cool. Okay, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this one. Um, I'm not going to worry about replacement on those, but I am just going to very quickly set up a replacement. I've already done the replacement on there, so I just need to set the replacement on this one. Uh, I want to go there, Mercedes. Okay. 
and set that on 100% lifetime. And your lifetime is 30, 30 years. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a while before anything needs to be replaced. Right. Let's go. Absolutely fantastic. He's coming out. He's taxiing. He's doing his thing. He's going to come over here. I don't have any passengers just yet. I got a bus over there that's coming up. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe I should have more buses. Colne is doing nicely. I've got passengers moving around Colne. At the moment, both lots of buses are losing money. The aeroplane isn't doing a great deal either. That's just going to lose money as well. So you're going to come in there. Current profit minus 5 million. Now, I did say that we needed to be frugal to start with. I'm thinking I'm not being very frugal. Let's, let's speed things up a bit and we'll watch this airplane and see what it does. Move that over there. and I'll, I'll zoom that one out so that I'm not having to listen to the sound if I don't want to. And away we go. First flight. Look at that. We're actually flying. First flight because the last time we set up the airport it immediately finished as soon as we set up the airport. Okay, I'm pleased we got this one rather than the other one because the other one could have been a lot more expensive. This is as fast as we can possibly go. It seems a bit expensive. Time consuming as well to be able to actually go through and do it all. So he's going to get all the way over there. He's minus 97,000. I'm, I'm just losing money everywhere at the moment. Then he's going to come in round. He's going to bank round like that. Out over the yawning abyss. The yawning abyss is a little bit worrisome. It's not so bad though. It's it's okay. So you're going to come in here, and I got no passengers for this one either. So then he's got to do his taxiing malarkey. Although there, that bus does have a passenger. Is it coming over to the airport? Is that passenger coming over here? No, they still got one. So you got no passengers here, but now he's on his way again. He's going to go and he's going to take off again. Does that mean that we're going to start getting passengers coming out over here ready to use this airline? Are they going to start coming out to use the airline? And zero passengers on board that bus. Apparently they're not. Apparently nobody is interested in using my new airline, despite all of the money I've poured into it. Nobody is interested in the slightest. What about over this side? Have I got have I got anything? Any interest? At a bus I got five Ooh, wait, whoa, what's this? Five passengers. Stop there. Really? Don't any of you want to visit your friends and family in Cologne? It's over here, look. Airplane's coming in. There's another bus. i got one passenger sitting on that bus there. He's probably going to go and, and not do anything. Okay. You're all losers. You're all losers. You should be using my airport. You're not. Bitterly disappointed with this. Why are you not using my airport? It's there. It covers the, the terminal. It, it, it's, it's close enough. Nobody. Nobody at all. We've got another one coming over here. I mean, maybe I'm just not close enough yet. Maybe I. It, it, it might take a little while before I've got anybody here, but still nobody coming over to it. That is close enough, isn't it? Let me just have a look at it. I'm suddenly concerned not going to let me build anything anyway because I've already reached my construction limit. That one. Yes! At last! Passengers! There, look! <coughs> Amelia Davies! Oh, you beautiful, wonderful person, you. You absolutely beautiful, wonderful person. You can go. You can go. Okay, we've actually got people turning up now. 
And there's some more people turning up as well. They are finally waiting to go on our hairy plane, which is wonderful news. Uh, nobody's coming in here yet. The plane's coming in to land. There's a bus. Got six people on board. Okay, they're all losers. Uh, nobody's coming up there. Probably don't want the CEO of the transport company to be on record saying that people are losers. Because people tend to get upset with that sort of thing. They really do. Right, that one's... I got passengers here. They just... They, you, sorry, do, sorry, dudes. Sorry, folks. You just missed the plane. You literally just missed it. But I got nine people over here at the airport waiting to go. I'm thinking a second plane. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if I can do this or not. But I'm going to spend two million on a second plane. Maybe I should find out how much I get from each passenger as they fly before I go spending a fortune on another hairy plane. Let's do that first. Where is this hairy plane? There he is. He's on his way over. He's going to be here in a minute. He's taking his time. 350k. Does go pretty quick once he gets up the speed. He does He does sort of whiz along at a reasonable rate of knots. There he is. He's, he's going to go whizzing around over there. And you in here. Colne Airport. i got 16 people and I can take 15 on board the plane. So I will have a full round of passengers as soon as that plane gets in. And we can find out how many we get. We've got to wait until they get to the other end, though. Alright, it's taxied in. We've got more passengers in there. There's 15 passengers there. I've got loads more coming out. I've got another 16 already waiting. So now the passengers are starting to accumulate, which means as soon as I've found out how much I get from one route all the way through... Like, line two, they're starting to make money now. And that one's coming down as well. The buses are starting to make money. Right, these vehicles in here. I think I'm going to replace those with them. Bigger bigger transports. I think we could do better with that. Let's bring this one in over this side. And we'll have a look down here. And over here, I've got 24 passengers already waiting for a ride. So I've just got to wait for the aeroplane to get all the way around, land, and then go. Are we going to be able to run two aeroplanes at once? Are they going to be able to do that or not? It's going to be a very interesting thing to find out. Can we run more than one plane on the airport? I would assume that we can. I would assume that there is some form of air traffic control that is going to keep everything all ticking over nicely. I really hope there is. Because if there isn't... I am stuck with just one plane. I, I'm going to buy another one in just a minute. As soon as I find out on here, then we'll decide how much we spend on another aeroplane. Whether I get another one of these to take 15 passengers at once. Because i got 37 people there waiting now. It's the golden age of half a million in one load. For just 15 pounds. That's pretty good, actually. Right, buy another aircraft. Go with the Douglas for two million. Buy that one. Set line, line three. That one's going to come out. He's straight in. He's, he's, he's off on his way to go and do it. This is, this is pretty good. And he has coloured. Okay. He's got the right colour on him. And I've got another 15 passengers on there. So I'm going to get a million each time I do that. Which means that my 7 million here, that's going to change around fairly rapidly. That's a good thing. And then that airplane's coming over here. And we get more passengers loading up down here. I've got 35 passengers down there. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to... Uh, no, I don't want to... Yes, I do. I do actually want to buy some road vehicles. I want to buy one of those... A uh, new vehicle. I got a Class V100 train. Uh, I want to buy one of those right there. And then I want to set that one onto line one. Like that. So that's a yellow one. It's, just, it's switched over to yellow. Then I want to go line one over here. 
automatic vehicle replacement. Replacement vehicle is going to be the Mercedes-Benz, like that. And then... I'm going to replace now. Although it's probably going to... Actually, you know what? You over there... Return to the depot a minute. Right, so you're not on there. So then, this line here, now, overview, line one vehicles. They've been out running for five years. So I'm going to go replacement. Replace the five, the, the six vehicles now. Replace now. There are six vehicles to be replaced. The purchase costs exceed the sales profit. You have to pay 626000 Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes, I absolutely do. So those have now been opted for replacement. You down here, road vehicle 14, you're going to go out to line one as well. There. So they've now been selected for replacement. They've all been swapped over. That one's going to be swapped over as well. So I've got seven on each of those on there. And they're bigger buses now, so they should be able to take more passengers which is good passengers have slowed down a bit on here that's because all the buses just disappeared and didn't have their passengers temporarily and this side over here i got 28 passengers right there 31 passengers i got a train a, a train i got a plane just coming in now right there and 529,000 has just gone in and then i take out a load of passengers so right there that bit that's running at a million profit fantastic plane has just come in that one's coming out and it's taxiing away so i've got another round of passengers to come in here which means my current profit here at minus six million yes that is quite high minus six million but that's dropping quite rapidly that is it is dropping very nicely 21 i could probably run three planes considering the gap between them i mean this side over here at the moment is a little slow, and that is because of the, the buses being replaced. It, it, suddenly, it suddenly removed all the passengers. That being said, though, I got this one coming up. I got more passengers over there. I got a load of passengers over here all running over. That's all fine. They're all being taken care of. So I could actually put a third plane out onto the, the thingy here, and we could keep that one going. There's a load more there. In comes the next plane. 26 passengers right there. Right, we're going to do it. Considering that they have they go from here over to the other one and then back again, that gives them a million in profit. Uh, apart from running costs, which are 28,000 each tick. Um, so if we said five trips before they're in profit... Just to be absolutely certain that five trips does do it. But I think it's actually better than that. I think they do run better than... Um, I think four trips would just about do it because of the... Or maybe not. Say, all right, we'll call it five trips. Call it five trips. Um, and then they're running on a profit. And at the moment, I've got the passengers coming through, right? I've got loads of passengers in here. So I've, I've swapped over and I've still got two plane loads there. So let's buy another one of these. I'm not going for that one. I know that's 23 passengers, but it's 4 million. I think this is the one that we want to be running. The Douglas DC-4. I think these are the ones that we want to be running for this. So set line 3 for you. Let's put a third one out. So the yes has gone back up to minus 7.5 million on there. But I'm instantly in grabbing a load more passengers. My buses are bringing in hordes of passengers. Which is great. And then... Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wastelands. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.